I'm Sonia and I help people take their power back. If you're interested in connecting with me, want to know what I'm up to, check out the description below and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In this video, I want to talk about how to decide without having a feeling or knowing that you are going to get what you want. Honestly, this is how I manifest. I decide what I want and then tell myself that that's how shit's going to be regardless of how I feel or regardless if I know that that's what's going to happen. And I know if you are, depending on where you are in your journey, when I was not at this point in my journey, when I first started hearing people tell me, just decide, just make the decision. I didn't understand what that meant and I would decide and then nothing would change. And the reason was because I wasn't changing me. So when it comes to getting what you want, you first have to decide what you want. So we'll take money. I want a thousand dollars. Cool. So you know what you want. I want a thousand dollars. Doesn't matter why you want a thousand dollars. You want a thousand dollars. Awesome. So you're going to decide that you have the thousand dollars or are getting the thousand dollars. However, feels better to look at it for you, but I have my thousand dollars. I'm getting that thousand dollars. Whatever I want the thousand dollars for is taken care of because I got the thousand dollars whatever it is. I want to go on a trip. I want the house. I want whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. The relationship, this outcome to a situation, I don't give a fuck what it is. You are going to decide that you are going to get what you want and that is how things are. So when you think about it, you are going to tell yourself that that is what is true. I have the money. I got the money. I got the money. But what if I know I got the money? You aren't going to bitch, whine, moan, complain, question, anything if you're going to get the money when your brain throws at you that you don't have the money and what if this happens and what if that happens because right there this is the game you're playing this is the game of life as Lawrence Goval Shin put it the game of life and how to play it the game of life is deciding what the fuck you want and how to play it is when your brain or your physical world throws things at you that make you question if things are going to go your way, you remind yourself who the fuck you are as God, the operant power, the only one with a fucking opinion in your own head and go, yeah, no, that's stupid. Of course I'm getting what I want. I always get what I want. This is working out for me. This is going to be how shit goes. And yes, it takes practice. It takes practice to get good at doing that. And it takes having success with it when you know it was success to start to trust it and it also takes deciding that you trust it and believe it and decide that this is how the world works i don't try to feel anything when i'm manifesting unless a feeling comes naturally i don't care how i feel I have manifested plenty of shit through anxiety and worry and doubt and all kinds of shit being sad it doesn't fucking matter if it mattered that you had to feel good and trust and absolutely 1000% know that you were going to get what you want and completely be in that state being truly truly delusional in order to get your shit I would have never gotten anything to manifest I've never been in that place I decided and then I kept telling myself that that's how shit was going to be. And then it fucking turned out to be that way. And I've done this over and over and over again. And when things didn't turn out the way that I wanted them to be, those were learning experiences for me to better understand what the fuck I was doing. And it's like, oh, well, compared to this time when it did go the way I wanted it to, I wasn't doing this and I wasn't doing that and I wasn't doing that. That's probably where I needed to not be doing it that way. And it helped me get better at doing it. Now it also comes to whatever you're telling yourself in this moment is what is true. So if you don't get what you want, what are you going to fucking tell yourself about it? That this is just the bridge to you getting what you want and you're still going to get what you want. It's just coming in a way that you didn't expect it to. Or this is how wait, this is going to lead to something better. Or like what the fuck are you going to tell yourself? In this moment, all that exists is right now. What you tell yourself right now is true. 
is true. It is your experience. I have never known I was going to get shit or felt that I was going to get shit. I decided. And then when things happened or my brain thought against it, I just decided, came back to the decision. Nope, I'm getting what I want. That's, that's how I function in the world now. I decide what I want and decide that that's the path that I'm on. And the more I do this, you are not going to convince me that that's not how the world works. It is absolutely how the world works. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. But you have to be open to seeing it in the first place. And you have to drop all of the rules and the, but this, I'm not doing this. And I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. You're the one deciding all of that. It's all you. Once you see that too, you can't unsee it. You are the one deciding there's a problem. You are bitching, whining, moaning, and complaining instead of coming back to your decision that it's just done. If it's done and you know you're getting it because you're deciding and that's what you're telling yourself, then when you are thinking things that, and questioning things, that's bitching, whining, moaning, and complaining. That's wavering. And then you're wondering why it's not working because you're not doing the only thing that you need to do. Come back to telling yourself that your decision is the final answer that is how shit is going to go why because that's how our world works whatever you tell yourself is true is true and once you see it for what it is you can't unsee it thank you so much for watching love and light